Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. One small but complex invitation today. And here it is. Study your children. If you're a parent, study your children. If you're an aunt or uncle, grandpa or grandma, study your nieces and nephews. Study your grandkids. And then point them towards what God has designed them to be. There's a passage in the Bible in Proverbs that is uh, one of the most misquoted, misunderstood passages in all the Bible. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to tell you how it's been misunderstood, and then tell you how we should really read this passage. Here it is, Proverbs 22, 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. It used to be read as, raise up a child in the way that they should go, and when when they grow old, they will not depart from it. And many Christians took this to mean, parents, if you take your kids to church, if you teach them the Bible, they'll become Christians. And then parents did that and their kids wandered and they said, wait a minute, I raised my child in the way that they were supposed to go. But this passage is not saying, take your kids to church and they'll become Christians. As a matter of fact, my wife was working on a project some years back with a a great pastor, uh, Charles Swindoll, and she was working on a study Bible out of his notes. um, She had about three, 4,000 pages of unpublished notes and manuscripts and preaching notes. And she got to work on that. I got to work with her. And it was an amazing project. But in the midst of all that, came across this teaching where Chuck Swindoll said, you know, this specific passage isn't saying what people want to make it say. He he said, really what it's saying is raise up a child, raise up a young boy or young girl in the way that God has made them and designed them. And when they grow old, they will become the person God has made them to be. And that means you have to study your kids. You have to study your grandkids, your nieces and your nephews. You have to look at them and you have to say of this little girl, boy, I see in her a tender heart. So I raise that up and help her to be tender-hearted for Jesus. I see in this, in this child a sharp mind, and just like, like a real insight. Then we nurture that, we grow that, we raise them in the way that God has made them. This one has a sense of humor, this one's artistic. How do they leverage those things for the glory of God? And if you study your children, if you study the young people God's put in your life, and you raise them up according to how God has made them and uniquely wired and designed them, when they grow old, they will become the person God wants them to be. I have a son who is a videographer. He, he's been artistic his whole life. I remember, I remember early on, he w- once asked me, Dad, you know, how long do I have to keep playing sports? He, had, he wanted to start a video company as a kid. But I watched and listened and realized, okay, this isn't his thing, but this is his thing. Well, he went on to get a degree in film and he has been running a video company for his whole adult life. And he makes a great living and he provides for his wife and their four dogs. And, the, and But it was going, okay, that's what, this, that's what our son Josh is wired like. Another one of my sons, more analytical, uh, more, more um, and, and he's in the financial world now and he loves that. And he's, but, but as I was watching him grow up, it's like, okay, how has God made this one? And by the way, all three of our boys, same gene pool, same basic DNA, totally different. So it's not, you don't raise all your kids the way you think you should. You study them, you get to know them, and you raise them the way God has wired them. And then they walk into who God has made them to be. That could be a whole book, but that's just a quick introduction. So here's the invitation. Study the kids that God has put in your life. Figure them out as best you can and do things that will help them become all that God has made them to be. Will you pray with me? Lord, today we pray for the young people you put in our lives. Children, sons and daughters nieces and nephews, granddaughters, grandsons. Will you help us watch them and love them enough to study them and understand their unique way and then help them redeem those things and become, God, who you want them to be. We need all kinds of followers of Jesus in this world. Help us to raise kids up to become all that you've longed for them to be. We can be part of that great work of Jesus in their lives. We pray you'd help us do that and you'd bless each of those little ones in the name of our God, our Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We pray this, amen. God bless you. Have a great day. And uh, if you're part of a local church, get engaged. Be part of the body of Christ. I'm glad you watch videos. I hope you enjoy things online. But if you can, online or on campus, be with God's people, engaged as you can. God bless you. Have a great day.